Hello everyone and welcome to this Binance tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to use and how to set up a stop loss and take profit order at the same time using Binance. If you want to place a stop loss and a take profit at the same time using Binance, it's important to understand how a stop limit order works. That's why I will now explain how it works and after that I will show you how to use a stop limit order as a stop loss and a take profit order. How to use a stop limit order. So now I will show you how to place a stop limit order. To place a stop limit order, you need to go over to the place order section. If you're using the default layout, the place order section will be at the bottom in the middle of your screen. And if you're using the pro layout, this will be on the right side of your screen. The next thing you need to do is to click on sell and then go over to stop limit order. So since this is the part that most people find confusing, I'll try to explain this as easy as possible. A stop limit order exists out of two parts, the stop price and the limit price. The stop price is the price that triggers the limit order. The limit price works the same as with a default limit order. In other words, the stop price is the price at which an order to sell the selected amount of coins for the limit price will be created. And the limit price is the price for which you would like to sell your coins. How to set a stop loss order. To place a stop loss order, the first thing you will need to do is to decide at which price you want your limit order to be created. And of course, the second thing you need to do is to decide the limit price of your order. I would like my limit order to be created when the market price drops to or below 0.6607 USDT. And if my stop price gets hit, I want my coins to be sold for 0.6503 USDT. It is recommended to have a limit price that is a smaller amount than the stop price. That's because if the price drops down too fast, there is a chance that the market price drops below your limit price and doesn't get back up. Thus, your order won't be filled and you're left with a bigger loss than you'd hoped for. That's why you should go with a stop price that is higher than the limit price of your stop loss order. This also means that the larger the gap between the stop price and the limit price, the higher the chance is that your order will be fulfilled. Now, the last thing I need to fill in is the amount of coins I want to set a stop loss for. You can fill in the amount of coins right here, but since I want my stop loss to cover 25% of my holdings, I'll go over to the percentage bar and select 25%. The last thing you'll need to do is to click on the sell button. You'll then see this order confirmation saying, if the last price drops to or below 0.6607 USDT, an order to sell 321 algo at a price of 0.6503 USDT will be placed. So if you double checked all the information, click on confirm. How to set a take profit order. The process of setting a take profit order is quite similar to setting up a stop loss order. The only magnificent difference is that with a take profit order, the stop price as well as the limit price should be higher than the current market price. So if you want to set a take profit order, the first thing you need to do is to decide your stop and your limit price. So I'll go ahead and create a take profit order. The stop price I'm going to fill in is 1.1437 USDT. The limit price I'll go with will be 1.1398 USDT. The last thing you'll need to fill in is the amount of coins. I am going with 300 Algorand. To sum this order up, if the price per Algorand hits 1.1437 USDT, a limit order to sell 300 Algorand for at least 1.1398 USDT per coin will be created. Now all that's left to do is to click on the sell button. Just like with the stop loss, there will be a order confirmation telling you what will happen if you place your order. So if you double checked all the information, click on confirm. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.